Oh my goodness, there we go. We're recording. Can't see a dang thing. Got the uh, light right there. So, I owe an apology. Uh, humble pie time, right? I've got to, uh, I've got to uh, uh, admit that I was wrong again. <laughs> Happens all the time. Uh, so, no big deal. But I did, I did my mistake. The reason why I'm apologizing is that the mistake that I made with uh, gameplay is uh, uh, influenced my opinion on a game system. And that, uh, that game system is, you know, well liked and well regarded and it, uh, it has some, you know, some fairly ardent, ardent fans to it. So I'm here today to correct my mistake and I've also gone back through all the videos that I've posted and uh, all my blog posts in regards to the game, which nothing vehement, nothing problematic, really just a highlighting of what I thought was a, an issue with supply and the rail network and the number of counters that you get for uh, trucks and dumps. So, uh, it's these guys, this system, right? Now when I played uh, Army Group South, you, uh, you set a number of trucks and dumps up on the board, you use those, and the next turn, if you need to use them, and then the next turn you'll receive additional supply and you'll have rail net that can bring some of it on and you will have used some of your counters and you will then bring more on. And what I found, uh, and it didn't affect the German gameplay, maybe I was playing something else wrong that, that compensated for it, but uh, I, what I found was that I, could, I was losing all the supply, I couldn't get it all onto the board. Well, there's an interesting little comment or, or notation on the setup charts that I had overlooked in Armour Group South, and I just did the same thing here because I've got uh, I've got all the maps out. Excuse me. I wanted to have a look at it at this sort of granular or slightly more granular detail because I've recently playing Smolensk and then having a look at Proud Monster and sort of going through that cycle of games. I thought, you know what, I've got Army Group Center here. And so I'm punished, why don't I have a look at the maps and see if it looks interesting and maybe I can work out this supply thing again. Well, so here's the, here's the thing that I got wrong. In uh, down the bottom or in at some, po some portion of the, the, the setup chart, it says max on turn 1 through 13, 14 uh, trucks, MSU trucks. And uh, it, uh, it says, uh, you know, none, uh, no wagons. And then it says 11 uh, max, uh, game turns 14 through 40. And there are six on the map at the start. And that was my clue, right? There's six on the map at the start. And from there, I had some conversations. I was asking questions online. And a gentleman in the UK helped me understand the error of my ways and what I had done what what led me astray here was that I had pulled out the counter sheet and uh, this was the German counter sheet that I saw and I had uh, these seven trucks here and I guess uh, this was this other counter sheet I didn't either I didn't notice these or that it was stuck to the when I picked it up this time it was stuck to the Soviet counter sheet. I don't know how that happened, but maybe it's moisture or something like that. But anyway, there's a whole bunch of extra trucks here. And I was like, wow, what are all those trucks for? Hmm, funny, there's 14 in total. So, I put two and two together, with help from uh, my little board game geek new friend, made me realize that I had been playing the game incorrectly. So, that's important for me to post a video about that for, for the main reason that I liked everything about the EFS system and the Barbarossa system, whatever we want to call it, except for this, this what I was calling the nexus of supply and rail and the inherent issues with it. Well, that was wrong. So just flat out wrong. And it's, uh, it's one thing to play a rule wrong here or there and make mistakes or 
as uh, one of the unkind gentlemen on Facebook said to me the other day, you know, you can't even do a, a shrink rip without uh, forgetting how many maps there are or getting something wrong. So anyway, uh, we all make mistakes and I make more than my fair share because I got a lot of shit going on and uh, I like that. I would rather be busy and active and uh, mentally engaged and make a few mistakes than be a boring old fart. Not that anyone is a boring old fart. So let's get back to the problem, the, 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 the apology. So, so uh, that recasts my vision and my thoughts and my ideas about the EFS system I would probably need to go back and watch the sort of you know impressions video that I did and I don't know that I'm gonna go do that because uh, I don't usually watch my own videos but what I will do I think I think that's got me inspired to set this up and play the campaign why not right I mean how bad could it be who knew <laughs> who knows what could happen so that's my apology uh, to Vance von Boris, I was becoming very frustrated with your game because uh, I also played three sessions online of this and bitched and moaned about that problem as well. And the person who I was playing with, they didn't tell me that's what you could do or that's how it worked. So I just, I just stumble, sometimes uh, we stumble around in the dark a lot. All right, there you have it. I look forward to talking to you soon. The next time you see a video, uh, hopefully it'll be something to do with this particular game. Talk to you guys real soon. Ciao.